The process of finding caregivers is hell. There is an old saying, you get what you pay for. Well, when you pay a person only $14 an hour to take care of another human being for about eight hours of the day, you get what you pay for. I'm fortunate when I find really good caregivers. The process for getting hours is excruciating because you have to prove that you need those hours. With my particular case and the program I use, you have to have certain health issues before you can get approved for extended hours or 24-7 care. Oftentimes they suggest that you go into an assisted living community and therefore you strip your life away and you go into nursing care. I refuse to do that. That is a death sentence for a lot of people in my community. In order for me to get the care that I really actually need, I would have to have equipment that requires servicing and being taken care of or managed by a certified nursing assistant. You would also have to have like at least two stage four bed sores in a year and no less than four hospital visits per year. So essentially they're saying in order for you to get the care that you need, you have to be sicker. To me, all that says is that you're putting me to the brink of death. And if I can't go back, you don't have to pay for a prolonged period of time because my life has been diminished because I require care. And I'm being punished inadvertently and indirectly and perhaps directly because of that care. So when I say it's hell, it's hell. But overall, I'm pleased with Jessica as a caregiver. She's very attentive and we're getting to the place where she needs to be better about stating her boundaries. I really enjoyed working for Jessica. It is a challenging job, less so physically for me and more so mentally. In my life in general, I have to be in charge of a lot of things and sometimes always needing to be the in charge responsible person is exhausting, but that's more a reflection of my own life rather than Jessica personally. And we have spent a lot of time in each other's company over the past seven months. months. We get on each other's nerves sometimes, but I always show up to work and normally leave work feeling good about work. I know I'm gonna be tired, but happy to facilitate somebody else living their life because that's essentially what I'm doing. And I enjoy being part of something like that, that I feel like I'm making a difference in the world. It's a lot to be a second body because you have your first body, you know? And she never makes me feel bad about it. She takes really good care of me.